Okay, let's talk about the 4th of July. For many people, it wouldn't be a festive 4th of July without the sparks of fireworks. But what do you do with your kids all day long while they wait for those fireworks to be lit? Here with a few kid-friendly ideas is mom blogger Jacqueline Cromwell. Good morning to you, Jacqueline. How are you? Good morning. And by the way, thank you for the cookie. I snuck one out of your um, bag. Oh, is that you, okay? please. They're so Cookies good. are meant to be eaten. Homemade chocolate chip cookies by Mom Blogger. You cannot go wrong. <laughs> all right, let's talk about tips to enjoy your fireworks with your kids because obviously the anticipation builds all day long. The anticipation builds, but also along with that, when the actual fireworks are going on, especially if you're like my family where we have other mm -hmm. people's kids over. Yeah. You know, you can't always threaten other people's children yeah. like your own. <laughs> A few rules go a long way. My first rule, though, starts earlier in the day. Be clear as to when you are going to start your fireworks. Okay. And I even say give them a specific time a little later than you think. Don't say about 9 when really it's going to be about 9.30. Okay. Say okay. 9.30, say 10. That is my number one thing. Okay. And then give them something specific to do. Don't go, oh, just go play somewhere. There's yeah. nothing more torturing to a kid yeah, than... that's true. Give them something specific. Be prepared. Have a movie. Have a game. If nothing else, tell them what you want them to create as their Legos. Give them something to focus on. Oh, okay. So if they do like Legos and have Legos oh, yeah. lying around, just say, you know what? Can you make me a... It's a great go-to mom trick for anything. American flag or something. Exactly. Okay. i got to oh, be on the okay. phone. Go make me a Star Cruiser. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Okay, that's oh, yeah. good because, uh, you know, we have some that love Legos. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, lay out a blanket for them to sit. Yes. Okay. When you actually are ready to start your fireworks, after okay. you've done all your prep and cleaned your wicks and set out your bucket of water, Bring the kids out. I bring out a blanket. Okay. Don't get off the blanket. And one of the nice things is you don't have to make sure they're sitting nicely in plastic chairs or they're not rocking back. Just stay on the blanket. Just stay on the blanket. Okay. Especially if you're out with a lot of people because a lot of people will be heading out to Buchanan, for example. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of people. You don't want them running around. Exactly. A blanket. Okay. Especially, I recommend you pick something brightly colored, okay. very clear. Nothing gets mixed in. Can the... you make them cookies and take cookies? I do. You? That's okay. one of my things is you need to have stuff prepared for the downtime. As uh -huh. exciting as fireworks are, there are going to be times when you're switching fireworks, yeah. when you're doing stuff. It is a great time for take out a plate of cookies, take out a glass with or a cup with a top on it, mm -hmm. fill them with water. A little forethought goes a long way. Okay. All right. So be clear about that. And, and also, you brought little, uh, what are these? Little, these are uh, those glow in the dark bracelets. We yeah. get these every year for my kids. There's like a pack of five in here. Yeah. And um, I always get more than you have children because uh -huh. some are going to be duds. Yeah. They're a buck a pack. <laughs> some are going to be duds. They are. And then the other parties, they can use the connectors and they can make bracelets. They can make necklaces. They can make crowns. Okay. So you really like, then you get these at the dollar store because we're a yes. big fan of the dollar store. Dollar pack. You can't go wrong. You know, easy entertainment. And then they have something that they take with them or take inside after the fireworks okay. are done too. That's so true. Very, so a extra something. Very and they don't true. last too long though. <laughs> so you can't throw them away. Be clear uh, ahead of time uh, about the children's involvement. What do you mean by that? Well, there's some things like as my kids get older, my husband might let them l help light one firework. Mm -hmm. Or you're not going to light any fireworks. You're going to sit and then at the end, if you're good, those morning glories that they have. You'll get to do that. Mm -hmm. Whatever, as much or as little as their involvement will be, be clear ahead of time. So then you don't have the nagging. You don't have the what am I going to do or is it my turn yet? You just simply say, and what did I tell you was going to happen? Yeah. And have them repeat it to you. Yeah. It stops a lot of fights because we want this to be fun for everyone. And they also like to know what's going on, just like any adult would. Children crave structure. I think we really underestimate that as adults. You know what? That's a good, good point. Good point. They crave structure. We need to have that for them. Have a plan, speaking of, uh, for when the fireworks are over. Oh, yes. Because I have four children of my own, and mm -hmm. we tend to have friends over. We usually, in our house, we say goodbye to our friends. The friends go get in the car because it's easier for parents just to take their kids straight from the front yard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then my children are responsible for picking up their dessert dishes or whatever, taking them inside. Then one by one, oldest to youngest, they get ready for bed. Wow. That way when dad is done cleaning up all the fireworks stuff, which will have to be cleaned up and taken care of, so uh, you, everyone's ready for bed. So you get the oldest ones to go first. Yes. Oh, okay. So we do. Can we do it the opposite? You do whatever okay, works okay. for you. So as long it's, as there's having a, a plan. Okay, having a plan. And they know what the plan is before they come in. That way... You know how it is. You open the door, the kids come running in, they all want to do 15 different things, yes. and then you're trying to explain to them what you want them to do. And then you're screaming like a mad woman because exactly. no one's listening to you. Exactly. I get it. I get it. And then okay. you start threatening, and then that's not a good memory to have. No, that's <laughs> not definitely a good memory. If to you have. don't, we all have been there. These are, these are tried and true rules because I've tried them and not tried them and 
And they work. Yes. Well, we're going to be hopefully emulating your uh, your tips here and, and copying a little bit of what you do over at your house, Jacqueline. Thank you so very much thank for being you. here. Have a very safe and happy fourth. You too. All right.